Hello and welcome back to my channel, my friends, and welcome to day five of May I Scrap Lift You. And as I remind you every day, make sure you pop on down below, of course, and see what Crystal got up to today, but also see what all of our lovely friends, anybody who is playing along today, all of the links are down below. Not everyone is able to play every day, some so far i've I've actually noticed are playing uh more than they thought they would able to, they would be able to so that is just so awesome so today today I am scrap lifting another one of my lovely and very very dear friends and scrappy besties, my dear friend Helen and the layout that I'm scrap lifting is up here in the corner as it always is. And it was a layout of all of her lovely little puppies. So there's Chester and Buddy and Elvis. And I think in that layout, they were waiting for Helen's husband to come home. And they were guarding the door. Where I went, and Helen loves nice and bright and fairly bold colors. She loves red, and there is there's a lot of red in her photos and therefore a lot of red on her layout. And so picking up from colors, I saw that in mine there was a green and white and these lovely sort of tealy blues. And I wanted to play with the Vicki Booten color study uh, collection because Helen, when I, when I showed the collection, she actually mentioned that she liked it and she had got quite a bit of it and that she could even tolerate the pink in, in that collection. So I thought I would use that and I went with this lovely, uh, stripey diagonal striped green background that goes from sort of lime into a little bit more of maybe a, a mossy evergreen emerald green a little bit of distressing on the background or a little bit of mixed media it would look like and then this really really fun paper on this side which is all of the circles that goes from sort of a cement color into a dusty lavender purple into the gorgeous aquas that I love so much and then back down into the greens and yellows and I just love this so I went with the sort of one-third two-third design I think Helen's strip maybe on the left hand side might be a little bit narrower or it could just be um, a play of, of the camera but I do follow her layout and her lead pretty pretty closely so I have my three photos and what I am recording, this is going to go into my weather album, if you recall, or weather mini series. I don't, I don't think it's going to be an album on its own. Although the kinds of weather we have here probably would give enough to fill an album. But I mentioned to you a few weeks ago that I really felt that there had been a lot of change in our weather patterns between this year and last and over the last few years. So I felt that I was going, that I, I felt like doing. Um, a little bit of recording about our weather and this one is is kind of fun because this is the 31st of January the 4th of February and the 24th of February so within a fairly short period of time this was my nephew sending me a picture from his car it was minus 26 centigrade on that Sunday he was saying stay home and I was yep uh, today for sure and then just a few days later as I was walking back from my mom's it was a beautiful day so the days that I start walking back when it's beautiful and sunny is when it's around the maybe you know five or six degree mark and I think that day we got up to maybe even eight or nine which is is not normal so you know walking back from mom it's beautiful out it's melting you putty so we were laughing about that and then bang on the 24th of February, we got some more snow. It's very, very pretty, but we got and quite a bit of snow. It, it didn't stay all that long, but this was a proper snowfall and snow accumulation and probably closer to a storm that than we had had um, sort of. We did not have a lot of winter storms this year. We were very, very, very lucky. And this was probably one of the bigger ones actually towards the end of the season. So my journaling just gives the three dates. 
and we can get all the seasons you know in in a week even here sometimes so i got those down in the same way that helen did i backed them with a narrow mat in a very colorful so in this in this paper so this one was really a rainbow and it went off into the purples and pinks and reds and oranges so i used another strip of that paper to back my photos and then I think it's the back side. Is it the back side? Yes, it is. And then the back side, which is a lovely sort of mixed media with like black on top. So you could see some of the color, but you can see that that color is coming through um, the sort of black. It's like a light black. Is that possible? On the background. So I did my wider mats with that. My photos are flat to the page and then I just sort of worked up the way Helen did here. I put a strip uh, down mine. I, I kind of like that, um, that pop of black that's there and I do like for some reason to put a strip over where I have two pieces of patterned paper that join. So I went with some stars. These are from the lovely Bella Boulevard collection that I got from my friend Colleen and then I dug out some of the older Pink Fresh Studios. I had a full sheet of stars and hearts uh, when they came out and I still have quite a bit left so I went into this sort of like palish uh, dusty purple or a lilac color with a little bit of yellow, black and white, the, the, the white with just an outline in black and the reverse here and then a couple of chipboard uh, stickers. It's all good, real life, because that's what just the details is a sticker because that is what it is. And then my title here, I got the lovely thickers that go with the Jen Hatfield Avenue collection. I think I got two or three packs of those black with just that lovely little gold foiling line through. So back and forth, which is what our weather tends to do and is doing more and more than currently on my mind just this fun chipboard chipboard arrow and a few more stars and a couple of stars down here where I have my journaling and there you have it so thank you my lovely friend Helen for providing me such lovely lovely inspiration I love this layout I think it's fun um and I really enjoyed doing it. So again, come back tomorrow for day six and make sure you pop on down below and uh, follow along to see what everybody else got up to today. And I will have a playlist of all of my layouts and I'm going to link it at the end of this video so that if you get lost along the way, you can find mine and in the description box of all of my videos will always be all of the links to everyone else. And if you really, really get lost, just pop back on over to Crystal's channel and you will find everything you need. See you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Bye for now, my friends. Stay safe.